<laughs> okay, um, I already talked about this, but I never hit the record button. So I forgot to hit the record button. And now I have to make this video again. Um, that, that always sucks. But let me repeat what I said uh, just a few minutes ago. <sighs> okay. Um, I wanted to give you guys another uh, update on the creep show painting. So that's what this video is about. Um, thank you so much for the positive feedback I got from that uh, video uh, a few days back. That, that really means a lot. I appreciate that. That was a lot of kind words. Uh, to answer a question about uh, if I'm going to make copies, yes, I will make copies. I haven't figured out the price of what those copies are going to be with, you know, shipping and stuff. Especially, I do, I am going to, I will ship overseas, but that's another thing i got to figure out is how much that would cost. Uh, just know that it, uh, the, co uh, the copies will not, n nowhere near cost as much as, uh, you know, the actual painting. So, so don't, wor no worries on that, so. Um, and I'm always, always reasonable with that sort of stuff. It's not going to be like ridiculous price or anything like that. Just enough to, uh, cover shipping and, you know. But anyway, enough rambling because I've, I've done that twice already. Uh, give you guys another update on the creep show painting, what I got so far. It might not seem like a lot has been done, um, since then, but it, it has. Uh, the middle part of the painting is still the same. I still have, um... Still, uh, the creeper is still unfinished. Uh, the, the cloak is still rough right now. I still gotta uh, work with the hair. So anyway, that's that's that. I still gotta um, with the title. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up tonight. That's what I'm gonna be working on and uh, finish up the tattered cloak on both sides, along with the hand. But the bottom part of the painting is about done. So the, the bottom, as I mean, like the half part really. Um, and I've got this. Let me slow down. Let me just cover what I've done. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Fluffy's done. I went over, I touched, did some touch-ups here and there for Fluffy. A uh, kid with the voodoo doll is uh, touched up and done. Um, the new things, I guess, with this video as far as updates would be, uh, major updates would be the headstone is finished. I got that. You guys want to check that out? Well, I'll zoom in. Uh, I'll zoom in here in just a sec. Uh, I finished the rest of the grass for Zombie Nate, so that's done. I uh, blended that in with the next scene I'll show you. I uh, wanted to blend in. Uh, part 2, Creepshow Part 2 will also be included with this canvas. It's a big canvas, so I've got enough room for all these stories. Uh, so, blended in, got a little muddy stuff going here. Um, it just works. And then uh, I blended in the water. Blends in a little bit with the crate scene, and then uh, there's a scene from the uh, raft, a victim there falling in and being consumed by the blobby, nasty, tarish creature. So, definitely had to work that in here. I know what the next scene's gonna be. It's gonna be a little black over here. You got the tattered cloak, and this is gonna be the next scene. The next scene's gonna stop around, around, around here. Um, it's gonna cover this area. So I'll work on that probably after I finish the hitchhiker. Um, come in from over here, and here's the hitchhiker story. What I wanted to do is start playing the grass into the wooded area. So I just started the wood, so that's a little rough right now. Uh, they got the shadows of the trees that hang overhead, and this scene right here is where she's trying to throw off the uh, hitchhiker. So she goes into the woods trying to throw him off, and then the, and this is the background. This is the more wooded area. Uh, the trees are going to uh, blend in with a tattered cloak. And then, you, of course, you get the hand right here. And then from that on, it's going to blend into another story that I know what I want to do right here. And then it's going to start blending in with the other two stories up, up overhead. Um, so I just started The Hitchhiker. And just started the woods down there with a the car. It's a little rough. I'll smooth that out. But just wanted to give you guys an update. I figured I'll do some updates on the Creepshow painting. Just to let you guys know that, uh, especially the guy who's uh, getting this painting. Just uh, I, I mean my word. I am working on it. I, I hope I'll get this done. I should get this painting done by the end of uh, this month. Uh, it takes uh, I do a good three hours of the painting uh, each night, and I and that. 
and it actually covers quite a bit for the uh, for the, just those few hours. So that's what's going on right there. Um, I plan, like I said, I plan on covering up. I plan on finishing up the creeper tonight, along with the title. Words. I've avoided this for a while. I've just delayed because words are so boring to to paint, and I just want to get to the fun stuff. But I'm just gonna suck it up and just get the words over with. Um, they're just it's just boring. That's why I've haven't done this yet. And then uh, I'll start working on the creeper, and then from onward to that point, I'll no longer be able to have the pleasure of sitting down and painting. I'll be standing up and stretching my back every now and then and having the paint standing up. So oh, I'm whining, but anyway, uh, that's that. I will uh, put this on manual real quick, and I'll uh, zoom in for you guys if you want to get up close detail. Might look rough. It's acrylic paint, so so the closer you get up to a painting, it's gonna um, look a little rougher. You know, when you zoom out, it, you know, it starts getting smoother and more defined look. But here you guys go. Kind of reaching in from her through that roof there. Uh, working with lettering. Lettering on uh, headstones is always a bit tricky. You just gotta kind of um, give the impression that the letters are there. There's certain ways of painting on that. And acrylic is a very thick paint, but there's there's ways to uh, uh, smooth it out. I use a, I use water and stuff like that to kind of thin it out and make it last longer on the brush and then uh, next scene I hate um, you could sp I could spend all day with water you gotta know when to stop with water um, that's why I'm really not crazy when it comes to when it comes to working with water because you could really overdo it if you if you're not careful um, so that's that and uh, that's it guys thanks for uh the positive feedback on the last video that was awesome that really meant a lot and uh, like i said about the copies I'll, I'll let those who shot me an email know about the once i get all that figured out um that's it guys as always thanks for watching and uh take it easy